DC Comics. Liam Neeson isn't killing anyone in this scene. You may find what you were looking for in the first place. Particularly if what you're looking for just happens to be a ninja training facility. I know it's early in Alfred's butlering career, but he completely forgets to shut these doors back here. So we build a new cheap public transportation system to unite the city. And at the center, Wayne Tower. Citizens of Gotham, here's a railroad. And never forget who gave you that railroad. Yeah, let's take my son who is deathly afraid of bats to his first opera, featuring bats. Richest family in the city exits the opera house through the graffiti-ridden side door into an alley. Take it easy. Yeah, just chill. Am I right? Chill? Get it? Okay, moving on. Good news. Your parents are alive! We got him, son. Oh. It was nothing that you did. Yeah, it was. He wanted to leave a boring opera early. That's what happens when you don't support the arts. Nipple bed. A flashback within a flashback? Do you think if Bruce could do an inception inside his flashbacks, he'd be able to warn his dad to avoid dark alleys? Katie Holmes. After the hearing where Chill gets shot, it goes from obvious midday to twilight in about three minutes. I learned the fear before a crime and the thrill of success. Where did you learn to kick so much ass that prison guards are putting you in solitary to protect the prisoners? Are you able to beat ass because you're angry? It gives you exactly the same powers as Mr. Furious. I will go Pompeii on your... But Gotham's time has come. It is beyond saving and must be allowed to die. And once we take care of Gotham, all evil in the world will vanish. This is definitely not Liam Neeson, so I guess Liam Neeson isn't doing anything in this scene. See, Alfred, when you leave the door wide open, you get bats inside the house. It takes 53 minutes for Batman to begin. I mean, I guess all we're really supposed to know is that Batman is hitting these people and kicking their asses. If we were meant to know the specifics of the fight, I'm sure they'd show them to us. Come on, if it wasn't required for the plot, there's no way the assistant DA in a city this size would be riding the sleazy subway trains home late at night. And if she did, she wouldn't live in an area that required her to get off the subway at Rape Alley. No one takes the law into their own hands in my city. Yeah, but people certainly break the law in their own hands in your city. But sure, focus all your efforts on the guy dressed as a bat. I'm buying this hotel. Buying a hotel is as simple as stuffing a check into a hotel staffer's pocket and requires no contracts. Batman doesn't kill King Joffrey when he has a chance. All data piles backup disks on my desk right away, and I'm firing you. Yeah, good luck getting him to put all that shit you just asked for on your desk now that you've fired his ass. The town's water supply would definitely not run under a building, and the water would not keep flowing through the pipe like this if there was a big gaping hole in it. Okay, I take back everything I said about Katie Holmes. At least tell me what it looks like. You know what it looks like, asshole. You were the one on the roof of the parking garage telling Batman to turn the engine off. Stay with me. Does Rachel see the same horrifying, oil-leaking bat demon when Batman talks to her just like Scarecrow did? Batman is a dick to everything. The effects of this poison are always changing. Bruce went into a coma, Falcone went crazy, Scarecrow goes crazy but somehow becomes sane hours later without the antidote, and when Rachel gets her dose, suddenly she's in danger of dying. This poison needs to make up its mind as to what it does to people. They put it all in. They must have been at this for weeks. Gotham's entire water supply is laced with it. This poison has been in the city's water for weeks, and no one has reported psychedelic effects after boiling the water or using a vaporizer? Happy Party guests sing happy birthday long before any of them could have known Bruce was about to enter the room. Either that or they've been standing here singing it for hours, just waiting for his arrival. Unless you have a microwave emitter powerful enough to vaporize all the water in the mains. Yet another ridiculously complicated bad guy plan. Let's taint the water supply with poison, which has to be inhaled for it to work. Then, on the off chance there's a powerful machine that turns the city's water into vapor, we can get the whole city hallucinating in no time. You're never short of a few freeloaders. How does Bruce win back any friends after this speech? Wouldn't Bruce's name forever be tainted as the crazy guy who told his friends to f off and burned his own house to the ground? Yet, in the next movie, he's got enough friends to throw a fundraiser for Harvey Dent because people love him some Bruce Wayne. Also, never go to a Bruce Wayne party. Sh always goes down. Without even looking, Roz knows that a random beam on fire is about to fall on Bruce before it actually falls. You burned my house and left me for dead. Consider us even. It's not even remotely even. He burned your house, but then dragged your body out of the burning house, saved it from falling off a cliff, and then left you with a villager to nurse you back to health. Roz al Ghul is a dick. These members of the League of Shadows, a group of extremely skilled vigilante ninjas, are taken out by an old man with a golf club. I'm a Gotham City District Attorney. This cop lets Rachel into the Narrows without checking ID of any kind. Also, I take back my take back about Katie Holmes. I can't find my mom. She's probably fucking your Uncle Jamie. Rachel just happens to stumble onto the one group of cops that are actually bad guys, as well as the same little boy Batman had a moment with earlier. No one's gonna hurt you. Of course! 
course they are! Holy coincidences, Batman. Now Scarecrow just happens to come across Rachel in the foggy mist? Also, how did Scarecrow hear what Rachel said to King Joffrey? Wow, Batman knew exactly where to glide through all this smoke after saving Rachel and the kid. The monorail follows the water mains to the central hub beneath Wayne Tower. The pressure's moving along the mains, blowing all the pipes. Movie waste time with an old man giving us exposition already delivered by Batman earlier. Can you really knock down this many support columns without the entire building coming down? I mean, if you can, what's the f***ing point of having the support columns in the first place? Mysterious superweapon conveniently self-destructs after the train accident. I got another job. Yours. Somehow Earl isn't informed about all the changes at Wayne Enterprises before he walks in the door. I guess Bruce managed to keep the whole board and the entire media from telling him so that Earl could get an amusing and embarrassing comeuppance using the same words he used against Bruce and Fox. Didn't you get the memo? I never stopped thinking about you. About us. Then I found out about your mask. Jeez, what a c**k tease. What happened? Did your, did your balls drop off? You're not the devil. You're practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. What are you seeking? I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Where are we? The pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. 